to the City Regents Prayer Cast this morning, this Friday, and uh, I just woke up with this particular verse on my on my heart, and so we'll begin there and see where the Lord takes us from there, uh, and because we know the Holy Spirit is going to just move us around like He wants us to, and He will He He will help keep us on target. So because uh, we're here to do his will anyway. So I want to look at the scripture uh, that he gave me this morning. It was just in my heart. And you've heard this many, many times. It's not a new word. It's Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's so important. You know, that has to be our declaration every day, every day that we live. Because there are so many things going on, we have to rejoice and determine to rejoice, be glad in the day, because it is the day that He has made, and by His 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 His, his sovereign choice, we are here in this day, and we're here to to live this day, and we're here to serve Him in this day. And it could be uh, an actual physical date that this is referring to, or it could be more of a prophetic day, a season that the Lord is is called, and so I, we can flow either way. Either way that the Lord brings us or takes us. So let's just begin to pray right here, right now. Father, we want to thank you that we know that this is the day that you have made. And by your mercy and your grace, you have given this day to us. And we are here in this day with you and with each other. And we, are here, we recognize that we are here to serve your purposes. Regardless of, it, regardless of whether you are referring to here an actual date on a calendar or a season of time that you are operating in. But Lord, we say we are here to serve your purposes in this day that you have made. Yes. And we want to thank you, Father, that you have given us all that we need in, in life, in, in the spirit realm, to do just that, to serve the purposes of God in this day that you have made. You have you have brought us here to serve you right here, right now. We want to thank you, Lord, for the ability to pray. It doesn't matter where we are in the in the actual world. This world, this word is true. It might be in the middle of, of warfare in between Israel and Gaza. It might be in the middle of care, uh, concerns in other parts of the world. But Lord, we just say, this is the day that you have made. And by your mercy and your grace, you have given that day, this day to us. And we're going to serve you in this day. We're going we're gonna to bring to you today I, we're going to present our bodies to you as a living sacrifice. Yes. That's our primary responsibility. We recognize that that is a position of worship. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing our bodies to you as a living sacrifice is a position of worship. And we're yes. going to worship you today by, you. by showing up. Worship, worship you by showing up mm -hmm. in responsibility, recognizing the responsibilities that you have given to us mm -hmm. and showing up to fulfill them. Yes. Recognizing, Lord, that we do them through your mm -hmm. empowerment, through your strength. There's not, yes. We're not leaning to our own understanding. We're not leaning on our own strength because we recognize, Lord, that apart from you, we can do nothing. Amen. And so here we are, Lord God, before your presence. I say, Lord, take us where you want us to go in the place of prayer. We will yes. do your will from this place in Jesus' name. We want to thank you, Lord God, that this is a day that you have made and we rejoice and we are glad in it. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the limitless opportunities of today. Yes. And we do ask that you would come by your spirit and possess us yes. for your purposes, not only in this time of prayer, but throughout this day and throughout this season, Lord, yes. because we know that that this is a day of salvation. This is a day of harvest. Uh -huh. Yes. This is a day of healing. Yes. This is a day in which we can serve you and can be your mouth, your arms, your hands, your feet. Yes. Lord, we can proclaim the good news of the kingdom yes. being near today. Mm -hmm. We can minister to those who are downhearted and need encouragement in the Lord. Mm. Lord, we can today be your ambassadors here to advance the kingdom of God on earth. Yes. So we do present ourselves before oh, you, Lord. Do. What an honor. <laughs> what an honor to serve you, to yes. know you, to partner with you. Yes. Lord, we just rejoice that you belong to us and we belong to you. Yes. And we, Lord, with you, put 
our arms around the city of San Antonio today. Yes, we do. And we say, San Antonio, God loves you. Yes. Do not miss the time of his visitation. Hallelujah. Because he's visiting you Hallelujah. today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Lord, I know that as your, uh, that's your promise to us to not miss the day of your visitation because you are coming. You are coming to this city with great power, with great authority. I believe you're coming with healing. Mm -hmm. You're coming uh, with, with, with authority. You're coming to yes. manifest your glory. Yes. And Lord, we say we agree with that 100%. We want to see you glorified mm -hmm. in every church in the mm -hmm. city, in every ministry in the city, in every business in the city. We want to see you glorified in the lives of Christian men and women in San Antonio, that they would manifest your glory right where they are, that every, every believer would recognize that, Lord, you have called each and every one of us as ministry. Yes. You've called us, all of us, to be ministers unto you wherever you have placed us. Thank and Lord, you. we don't have to be behind, as we say, a pulpit or the sacred desk, mm -hmm. but Lord, we need to be behind you and walking in your word and walking mm -hmm. in your light as you're in the light. And Lord, as you give us your word, we will decree mm -hmm. it where we are. As you give us your mm -hmm. wisdom, we will manifest it where we are. We will do mm -hmm. what you want us to do. We will show the world yes. who you are by how you move through us. Yes. And Father, that is our goal, and we pray that for the church mm -hmm. in this city that regardless of where we find ourselves mm -hmm. may we always be in the spirit yes. may we always walk with you may we always have our our spiritual ears open to hear what thus says the Lord mm -hmm. so that we are listening for your voice mm -hmm. and when you say go left we will go left yes. when you say go right we will go right whatever you say do we will do it mm -hmm. I pray for that that place of, of joyful obedience in our hearts yes. towards you, the living God, that whatever you say that we will do, we will do it. Yes. In, yes. Jesus name. in Jesus' May name. May you have yourself for yourself in this city of mm -hmm. people who are ready and willing to do whatever you mm -hmm. say, whenever you say, and however you say yes. it. Yes. Lord, you have told us not to lead to our own understanding, but in all our ways to acknowledge you, and you will direct our steps. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we pray that that will be the, the spiritual and the, the everyday position of every member of the body of Christ in the city of San Antonio. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, we thank you for the, the desire that you have to manifest yourself. In yes, the city that's of right. That's right. And you are doing it through the church. We, we understand that the church, the system that we have now, Father, is centered mm -hmm. on the pastor and, and the uh, congregation just mm -hmm. so many times just listening or in a mm -hmm. uh, passive way. But we ask, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would encourage uh, every pastor who is mm -hmm. struggling to, to bring your message to, to, the, to the church, to the congregation, mm -hmm. and that they see every, every week uh, that they bring an anointed uh, word, but the people are still the same. Mm. We ask, Father, that they will not be discouraged. That's yes. right. But, Father, that they will be encouraged knowing that you mm. are the one who uh, changed uh, the life. Mm. Uh, the, you're the one. And, Father, we ask for the congregation also, Father, mm. that, that that revival that we, we've been praying, Father, will be manifested yes. in each one of us. Thank yes. You. In such a way, Father, that we will carry Mm -hmm. Your manifested uh, presence mm -hmm. uh, throughout yes. the city. Yes, thank Lord. you. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you, oh, Father. We, that, that's what we want to see, yes, Father. We okay. ask that you will activate every believer mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit, Father, yes. mm -hmm. that they will know uh, their mm -hmm. identity in you and that they will mm -hmm. know what to do, Father. In yes, Jesus' name. Father, yes. In Jesus' Lord. name. That they will be disciples, Father. All of us will be disciples yes. who make disciples, Father. Yes. For your honor, for your glory. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, Father, Yes, we ask God. Thank you, Father. Yes, thank you. Lord, quicken our spirits. Lord, quicken our spirits in this time as the Church of Jesus Christ yes, in San Antonio, in whatever city is being represented by those joining us yes, on this yes, prayer cast. That's right. Lord, we ask that you would quicken your body that we would be revived, as our brother has prayed, oh, yes. that we would be quickened to know the time in which we are living, mm -hmm. that we, um, we have begun, we have entered into the greatest harvest in human history. Hallelujah. And yet, Lord, we look around and we see that the laborers are few. Oh, God. And so, Lord, we appeal to heaven. Lord, we offer ourselves, first of all, 
that you would send us forth into the fields that you have appointed us. Yes. We ask that you would prepare us and that you would work in us in the way that you did the early church. They were so excited. Mm, yes, they, were, they had a sense of eminence. Yes. And you were adding to their number daily. And there was great joy yes, as they yes, experienced yes. <laughs> new life mm -hmm. every day. Oh, wow. Lord, we ask yes, that that same joy mm -hmm. and experience mm -hmm. of people being born into the kingdom every day <laughs> would be our experience yes. in this time. That's right. And Lord, we, we ask that where we're slumbering, God, you would wake us up. Yes. Lord, you said in your word that we can read the, the signs for weather, but can we read the signs oh, for the spiritual season? Yes. And Lord, we believe that this is the season mm -hmm. of harvest. Yes. Father, we ask that you would mature your body. Mm. Lord, that you would mature our spiritual yes. senses. Yes. That we might discern how you are moving, where you are moving. Mm -hmm. That when we come across somebody in the day that is ripe, Lord, that we would sense your spirit upon that person. Mm -hmm. We would see your light upon that person. We would hear your word of knowledge for that person. Yes, oh God. And that you would use us, Lord, to reap mm -hmm. their life for yes, your kingdom. Yes, oh God. Father, we ask that you would make us sensitive yes, by yes, your Father. spirit yes, to every yes. opportunity mm -hmm. in this day mm -hmm. and in this season. That's right. And that you would use each and every one of us, Lord, yes. to bring in the harvest yes. in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I, I agree. I've just had this amazing sense of of excitement come upon me over the last several days of anticipation and Lord I am anticipating you coming in glory we've been praying for you to come for many many years and I know there's an appointed time for you to come in your all your glory and I know that's going to happen here in this city because you have designed you have said that this city is a place where you will come and you will manifest your glory you're looking for you have spoken such great things over the city of San Antonio and Lord we are saying that we're in your presence to cry out to you to see that they are amazing made manifest in this city that you will be glorified alone. I'm just excited. I know you're going to do these things. I don't know when, but it's, it's our times are in your hands. The time, everything is in your hands. And Lord, we know that you, you want to do these things and you will do your will and we say, let your will be done. Amen. We say, let it be done in church after church and ministry after ministry, home after home and business after business in our city, that no place will be left out from the, 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 the spreading of the glory of God. We know you want to come in all of your glory in the entirety of this city. You want to use this city in a in a phenomenal way. So Father, we say, here we are. We present ourselves to you, but we present the city of San Antonio to you as well. We say, Lord, it's all yours. You bled for it. You died for it. You rose again for it. We say, it is yours, and we want you to come here and want you to take up residence here. Not a, a visitation, but a habitation. We say, Lord, habit, inhabit every part of this city, every side of the city, every area of the city, every industry within the city. Inhabit the entirety of San Antonio. That when people come here, they will be they will come face to face with the the difference that is made when you are there. They will come face to face into and what they may not know is you, but Lord, we will know it is your presence. It is no, we will know that it is your spirit. We say, let them walk into your presence when they come into this city. When they fly into the city, as they are approaching the landing, we pray that a certain something builds up in hearts and minds and spirits, that they recognize that something is different. And something is different about San Antonio. I pray that they will know that it is the presence of Almighty God in our city. Have your glorious way here, Lord God. We invite you. We invite you to every part of our city. Lord, we have seen the heavens open over San Antonio, and we've seen your light stream through that portal, Hallelujah. embracing our whole city. Lord, we know you are already at work. That's right. You are already doing what you have planned on doing. 
But we desire and we ask today that you would hasten, yes. that you would hasten, Lord, yes. that you would hasten the manifestation yes. oh, Father. of your presence yes. in our city. Yes. Father, we ask that it would be palpable, that mm. it would be tangible. Inescapable. <laughs> Lord, that your loving kindness would permeate the atmosphere yes. of San Antonio, Texas. Lord, faith works by love. That's and we right. pray that your church, your people, would be so filled with compassion. Mm. Father, that wherever we go, faith is activated. And there is a reaching out to people in need. Mm whether it's a word of encouragement or some kind of practical help or they simply need to know the good news. They need to know that someone cares for them and someone is coming alongside of them, mm -hmm. not just with concern in their hearts, but with a willingness yes. to do something. Yes. And so, Father, we pray that would characterize this city. Yes, oh that God. we would be a city that loves you. <laughs> and because of your love for us, that we love one another. Yes. That we consider ourselves a body. And not just the church, but the city. Mm -hmm. I pray that the church would so identify with the city that we would consider ourselves one with her. Her. Hallelujah. Lord, that there would no longer be this distinction between those who are believers and those who are not yet believers. <laughs> For Lord, in your eyes, in your heart, you desire everybody to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus yes, Christ yes, and to be part of your eternal family. Mm -hmm. And you have said, Lord, that a time is going to come when every creature who's ever lived is going to be bowing before you, yes, worshiping you, you, said you. It, you said it. So in that sense, Lord, we are all in eternity already in a place of worship. Yes. And we share that together, Lord. And so may we not treat um, may we not treat those that don't yet know you in, in a way of lesser love mm. or compassion or mm. care or willingness to extend ourselves for them but Lord make us one yes oh God make us one mm. by your love mm. yes Lord mark us may the love of God mark this city mark the church of God in this city may the love of God be a tangible presence in the city of San Antonio and the love of God in the city the love of God for the city the love of God between Christians and the love of God in Christians for those who are not yet Christians as we have already said Lord we know that there are people who will come to know you because of us because of your people who demonstrate who you are who demonstrate your love your true love your true concern your true power your true joy the true the trueness of the, the truth of who you are as we manifest it Lord it's going to draw people to you and we pray that that evangelistic anointing falls on the hearts of your people in this city that we recognize that walking in love is a part of the evangelistic anointing that as we walk in that love that it will draw people to you and and, and, and people will come out of darkness because of the light that shines on us. They, they will come out of darkness because of the light that shines on us and because they will see that you are the light, that you are the greatest light, you are the, you are the, the one and only light. And we pray in Jesus' name that you will do that through us, your people, that you will cause us in these days to rise to the occasion of being in this Kairos season that we're in. We know that we're in a new day and a new season. As we began, it is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made. And we know that it's a new New day is a Kairos day, and we're asking, oh God, that in this opportune day, we will not in any way fail to see the opportunities to bring your life to people around us. We will not fail to see the doors that you're opening before us. We will not fail to see these doors. We will walk through every door that you're opening before us, and we will know the doors that you are opening. 
that we will walk through the doors that you are opening yes. and that we will know that we are going by your design, by yes. your intention, by your yes. purposeful intention for us mm -hmm. to go through the door, to go through the way mm -hmm. and take what we have and to carry your life and to carry your anointing as we go mm -hmm. so that we might bring change and transformation mm -hmm. in that arena, wherever it is. May we see that, Lord, wherever we go, we are to take the kingdom of God yes. to that place and we can say confidently when we live in your spirit, when we walk with you, that wherever we are, that's where the kingdom of God is also. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We know, Lord, that you've given each man a light. That's Every right. Every person has a light that's within right. them. And, Lord, we pray that you would help us to to see that light and call forth that light, mm -hmm. to honor that light, yes. to recognize that light, yes. to reach out to that light and draw that draw every man that you put in our day uh, into further yeah. into the light yes. and to separate them from darkness. Lord, that's what you did in the beginning. That's right. You created light, and you separated it from darkness. So mm. we're made in your image. We have that same power to look at creation through your eyes and to separate the light from the darkness. So today and in this season, Lord, give us the wisdom and the discernment to know how to separate the darkness from the light. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. It's funny that you're praying by that because I was just recently uh, just impacted by a certain scripture in the book of Genesis uh, where we know that the Lord created every day. And he said he created the, the morning and the evening. And he created um, the lights. And he said, I'm trying to find the verse. Oh, man. I love the way it's, read, it's written in the scriptures. I gotta find it though. I'm trying to do it by memory. He created uh, the light, uh, uh, the uh, the lesser light, mm -hmm. to rule the night. Mm -hmm. There's a light for the day and a lesser night for the night. Mm -hmm. But in every situation, there is light. Right. And Father, we know that that means that regardless of the situation, you want us to mm -hmm. see. You want us to understand. You want us to walk in wisdom. You want us to walk in the light as you're in the light, mm -hmm. regardless of the times, regardless of the situation that we're in. And so we're calling the church at this time to, to find the light, to yes. walk in the light as you're in the light, yes. and that to shine the light wherever we are, to recognize that whenever we go into a situation, mm -hmm. we are the light of God in that situation. Yes. We are the light of God in that part of town. We are the light of God in, a, in that company, in that business. We are the light of God wherever we are. And I pray that, Lord, we will, as the body of Christ, will rise to that level of, 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 of ministry in ourselves, that we are serving you wherever we are, because we know that we are, you have called us to be the light as you are the light, to walk in the light as you in the light and to also manifest that light and Lord I want to thank you for that charge upon us as the church I thank you that we will begin to live up to it no matter where we are no matter what is going on we will recognize that Lord you want us to see and understand it doesn't matter what's happening because there's light in every situation even in the darkness there is light and the light dispels the darkness and that is your plan. That is your. That is the power of who you are. And we want to thank you, Father, that we walk in that right here, right now. We want to thank you that is happening, whether we understand it or not. That light is shining. Mm -hmm. It is shining. Yes, Lord. And Lord, there are people who are in darkness who relish to see the light, mm -hmm. and they will see the light as we let it shine. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we just speak to San Antonio, and to the cities of our nation. And we say, arise, shine, <laughs> for your light has come. There you are. And the glory of the Lord has risen, it is risen. upon you. It is risen. For behold, darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you. Yes. And his glory will appear upon you. And nations will come to your light. Hallelujah. And kings to the brightness of your rising mm. so lift up your eyes round about and see and see 
Lord, we ask for sight. Yes. We ask for eyes to see the yes. light. Yes, yes, oh God. To see the light, to mm -hmm. love the light, to walk in the light, mm -hmm. to honor the light, mm -hmm. to call people into the light. Yes. Father, give us eyes today. This is the day to see That's right. the light. Yes. Yeah. And that to, has come. And to renounce the unfruitful works of darkness. Amen. Amen. We pray that that renunciation will be in the hearts and the mouths and the minds of your people. We will renounce the unfruitful works of darkness. Yes. They will not find a place when, if within the body of Christ, within the church, mm -hmm. that we will renounce them in our city, in our state, in our nation, and in our world. Where we see darkness trying to creep in and take control, we will stand in position and renounce it. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to turn it back, turn back the darkness by the bright shining glory of God and the light of God in us the people of God it doesn't matter the situation it doesn't matter where Lord we just know that you have called us to dispel the darkness as the light of God and to renounce the unfruitful works of darkness so we say let it be in Jesus name and city after city nation after nation uh, uh, we just commit this to you as the body of Christ that you will show us you will empower us open our eyes to see these things mm -hmm. That, Lord, we will walk in this wherever we are. That we will recognize you've called us to be the light in that situation. And I pray that, Lord, as we do this, this, as we do this, that, Father, we will not in any way have fear on us at all. We will rebuke the spirit of fear. We say fear has no place in the body of Christ. And we say that the faith of God renounces sin. It renounces fear. And fear is, is, is relying on ourselves. We're not relying on ourselves. We're relying on you. And Father, we know that you're, you're not, uh, you're, nothing is impossible for you. And we want to thank you, Lord God, for the faith to go forth and to <coughs> renounce the darkness and to renounce the unfruitful works of darkness wherever we are in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And John 1 says that in him, in Christ, was life. And the life was the light Hallelujah. of men. That's it. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. That's right. Lord, we don't need to be afraid of the darkness. We don't need to be afraid of the evil that is growing mm. in our time. That's right. Because we have the light. Yes. We have the light yes. in us. And the darkness doesn't even understand the light. The darkness doesn't even know what to do That's with right. the light. Right. The darkness is powerless in the face of your light. Lord, we have every reason today to, to rejoice in this day that you have made. Because we have everything that pertains to life and to godliness. Hallelujah. We have your divine nature shining within us. And you're like, uh, like a lamp, uh, making a path before us. And darkness cannot overcome the light. Because where the light goes, darkness is dispelled. That's right. Lord, we have the power. It's in us. Lord, we value that power. We value the dunamis power yes, of the God. divine light within us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because of that, Lord, we are strengthened in you today. Lord, we are not afraid, but we are full of confidence. Lord, because you have prepared something for us that is so far above and beyond what we can even hope yes, okay. or imagine. Mm. And you have made it possible by your light. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Father, help us as the body of Christ to live up to what you've called us in all these things that we know who we are, we know whose we are. And I thank you for that. I thank you, Father, for that knowledge being rested within us, solidified within us, growing within us. 
let it grow, that knowledge grow in these days. Mm-hmm. More than anything else, let the knowledge of who you are grow within the church and cause us to be a people who are pursuing you, mm-hmm. pursuing you to know you, pursuing you to manifest your glory, pursuing you to, to, to spread your glory, your knowledge of you throughout our city, every place that you place us, in our state, in our world. Mm-hmm. We want to thank you, Father, for uh, uh, the seed that you've given us, which is your word. Yeah. You've given it to us, and you want us to spread it everywhere we go, mm-hmm. everywhere we are, that there will be people mm-hmm. who know you, people who can serve you because they are being fed, mm-hmm. they are being nourished, they are being encouraged mm-hmm. by the word of God that is flowing through us, your people. Mm-hmm. And we want to thank you, Father, for that. We want to thank you, Lord, that as your word goes forth, it does it just does dispel darkness in people it, because it brings light, it brings revelation, it yes. brings understanding. Yes. And we want to thank you for your word. We want to thank you, Lord God, that it is changing families even as we as we pray right now yes. there are families yes. changing right now yes. there are marriages being healed right now yes. there are children that have been yes. caught in gang warfare being delivered right yes. now yes. we want to yes. thank you father yes. for what's yes. happening yes. right now yes. because we know you never slumber nor sleep you're yes. always working you're always at work yes. you're always doing your will you're everywhere at the same time because you're omnipresent you can be anywhere and everywhere yes. at the same time we want to want to worship you for that because it is amazing that you can do that and Lord, we want to thank you for the, the place of prayer that you've given us that empowers us to be where you are in that sense. Because yes. there's no limit on us when we're in the place of prayer. We can be anywhere, everywhere at the same time from this place of your, in your presence. We're in the eternity right now, in the eternal realm right now as we seek your face. Yes. And I pray that you will help us as a body of Christ to learn to dis- discern these differences between the time-space world and the eternal world where you are and where you want us to be and where you want us to serve you from that place uh, where there's no limitations, yeah. no nothing that hinders up us unless we are pulled down into this time space continuum yeah. called the earth yeah. and I pray that we will stay in your presence, we will walk in the spirit as you are in the spirit, we will walk in the, in the light as you are in the light we will walk with you, we will be maintain fellowship with you throughout our day and Lord will help us to, to traverse that place that we are in, in the realm of the spirit, we got one foot on the world and one foot